guys, it's Zen. Welcome back on my channel. Today's video is going to be a lip swatch video on the new Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. So I will be swatching the 12 shades that I hold on my arm, on my lips, and you will be able to tell hopefully the way they look. And at the end, I will have a quick little review. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and let's just get right into it. I feel the magic in the air Every night Every night Now review time, I did do a uh, video comparing these to the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. I did half and half during the day to compare how they resisted food, drink, and water. And I have to say the formula is extremely similar. They go on pretty thick as a cream, although these last better if you apply two coats. When you do drink and talk, they will last for like up to six hours, but when you start eating, light eating would be okay, but if you eat a real meal, the inside will disappear, which is pretty much the average for liquid lipsticks. I couldn't pinpoint the scent of these until a subscriber let me know that they smell like mascara, which 
kind of have to agree. Not like a, oh my God, you need to throw that mascara away. Like it's way too old. No, but just, you know, freshly open, smells a little bit like something. But once it dries down to the matte finish, you don't smell it at all. So it really doesn't matter that much, but I just wanted to let you know. Out of all of them, the hardest to pull off has to be Milkshake, which is gorgeous shade, but it is so white based that it makes it really hard to pull off. It kind of reminds me of the NYX Black Label lipstick in India. So if you love that shade, you will love this one. But the good thing about this one is that it's amazing to mix up with other shades to make them more milky or more pale. And it's really good for doing a ombre lips too. With that said, this is probably the worst one formula-wise too. It doesn't last as long as the other ones and it does tend to emphasize any line, any like crack, and just accumulates a little bit on the uh, sides of your lips, but it is a lot of fun. So these can be removed with a wet makeup remover wipe, so it's not the case for every single liquid lipstick. Some of them has to be removed with oil, otherwise they won't budge, which can be a good or a bad thing depending on your taste, obviously. I feel like the consistency of the formula is not always equal. Some of them are thicker, some of them are more liquidy. So the more liquidy one, like Sweet Talker, I feel like I need two coats to make it perfectly opaque and even. Same with like Vintage and some of the uh, darker shades, obviously. And I feel like some of them are more thick, like this one, which is Karina, which is the one I'm wearing right now. I feel like this one, one coat was perfect and the colors are pretty similar. So if you were not sure which one, I would recommend this one over Sweet Talker. Do I feel like these have the most amazing formula out there? No. Do I regret buying them? Nope. I feel like the brand did a great job with the color range. Just for that, I believe that they are worth the money. My only regret is buying Bloodline and uh, American Doll, which I'm wearing right now, because they are pretty similar. I feel like Bloodline is a hint more warm and a little bit more brown, so it would suit skin tone that are a little bit more tan. I feel like American Doll is more like Ruby Woo, or no, actually more Russian Red. It's a hint darker, a little bit on the cool tone side, which is just the best for me. I feel like I should have went with uh, the other coral one or the Bambi one that just came out. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know in the comments which colors are your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe if it's not already done and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I just feel badass with that lipstick. <laughs> so cute right now. I should just wear it that way, you know? Behind the scene, nobody sees that, but this is what happens <laughs> all the time. Every single time. Every single time.